Hi there! It's Black Bright talking about Love Island, the dark side of Love Island. You know what? I'm going to have the dark side of Love Island, not just because of black people, but just because of all the sinister and all the things that aren't quite right um, in Love Island. Like um, the lies and the deception and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I'm still going to concentrate on Leanne and Mike because I think those two are a brilliant couple. But let's start off with the lies. So we've got Ollie telling lies to Paige. Lying first that, um, what was his first lie? Oh, about Shanice. I mean, I don't think it was such a big deal. I think it was quite harmless. And yeah, maybe he should have said, but I think, you know what I think watching Love Island? I think men underestimate the value of honesty and transparency and openness. I don't, I think in that confined environment, they're forced to be honest because it gets around. Somebody is going to tell someone else. But I think in the big bad world, I think guys are so used to lying, whether it's white lies or not. They're so used to admitting lying by omission or getting away with stuff that I think Love Island is a quick fix for, to maturity. I really do. They have to learn really fast, especially if they're interested. Anyway, so now Ollie, who's minted, rich, 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 He's decided after Paige has given him a hard deal about honesty. I mean, Ollie is, must have been spoiled. He's probably used to getting girls a dime a dozen. They don't question him because they know he's rich. But the thing is, in Love Island, the girls don't know he's rich. So they talk to him like any regular John Joe. And the fact that he's been pulled up for honesty or for being dishonest he doesn't like it he's like a little sport brat so he's running home to his ex he doesn't even know if his ex is going to be there if it's anything like made in chelsea those rich people they change their 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 um, partners like they change their socks so who's to know that he leaves um, love island that girl's not waiting for him I hope she is after he, after he's done all that. But I don't even think it's got anything to do with the girl outside. I don't think he likes being pulled up. I think it makes him feel like a kid. And he doesn't like it. Anyway, bye-bye, Ollie. See ya. So let's get back to Leanne and Mike and Jess. So Mike now realises he likes Leanne. And he decides to sleep in the doghouse, what they call it, which is outside, rather than sleep with Jess, who he's been paired up with, so that he's not disrespecting Leanne. So Jess is peed off. Leanne, she comes down with her little scarf looking all cute, slips in the bed with Mike. Next thing you know, they're snogging. They're happy. He's happy. He wakes up with a smile. She wakes up with a smile. Jess wakes up, peed off. So, Mike, next thing you know, Mike calls over Jess, says he wants to have a chat with her. He says, I've got a funny feeling you feel mugged off. Of course I bloody mugged off. You lied. You can't be trusted. Not, that's not verbatim, but more or less. She's saying he can't be trusted. But to be honest, give Mike credit. Mike said to her, I still, I, I'm, I'm happy that you picked me. I'm still going to get to know Leanne. I think this get to know thing is a cop out. What do they mean when they keep saying, I want to get to know you? What does that mean? It means you're holding people in, a, you know, hostage, really. Because when you say, I want to get to know you, yeah, technically that should be good. But when you say, I want to get to know you and I want to get to know someone else and I want to get to know someone else, where does that leave you? Are you supposed to be left hanging? So anyway, um, I think Jess thought that even though he wanted to get to know Leanne, she was first choice. Totally cocky, totally self-assured. Anyway, <laughs> she's peed off that he's picked Leanne. Bloody cheek. Well, how did she how does she think that Leanne felt when she took Mike from Leanne? Don't she, doesn't she think that Leanne felt mugged off? 
How did Leanne behave? Leanne didn't say, oh, I'm not going to talk to you. I'm not going to be friends. Did she? She had more right to behave that way than Jess did. Jess just bloody came into the um, island or on the, to the villa bloody day late. Mike was already coupled up with Leanne. So what bloody attitude has she got? All she's worried about is that she might be booted out of the island. I don't think she cares about Mike. So, so, right, anyway. Anyway, so that's Mike and Leanne. So they're cool. Um, they seem to genuinely like each other. I think I think it's growing. The relationship, it's only four days, but it seems to be blooming and it's looking good. So what else is happening? Um... Oh, yeah, then we have, oh, Connor. <laughs> Connor, he's so sensitive. <laughs> but there again, you must admit, she was mugging him off, Sophie. I mean, how can you, you're supposed to be in a couple. You're supposed to think, okay, you two are quite tight now. As tight as you can be in four days. But he's looking at it, he's really interested in her. And she claimed she's really interested in him. Now we get a text. Two new guys are coming in. She's going, yeah, great, two new guys are coming in. Whoa. <laughs> oh, poor Connor. <laughs> he, he feels mugged off. But you would feel mugged off. She's saying she's only messing around with the girls. I don't know. Is that messing around with the girls? I mean, he asked her, how would you feel if he, he was with her and then they he got a text to say two guys, two girls were coming in and he went like that. I mean, it's not nice. You wouldn't do that. Not if you're interested in the person. She's obviously not interested in Connor. But he was so sensitive. And he, But what I liked about him, you know, he didn't hide it. He didn't just talk to the boys. He pulled her to one side and said, look, I felt mugged off. You know, I don't like the way you behaved. And she got peed off. I think she's already thinking, look, I don't want this. I think she thinks he's too hard going. He's too heavy going. I think she's a bit of a playgirl. And I think he's a bit too serious. So I don't think those two are going to click. I think poor little Connor. So that's that. So what else is key? We've got these two new guys coming in. One of them, bloody hell, he looks bloody gorgeous. There's going to be war in the camp. So, oh yeah, we have Callum. Callum can't make up his mind about um, Sh Shauna and Eve. Now, surely you must be able to tell which one you like, which one you get on well with. I can understand you get in on well with both, that one of them has to have an edge over the other. I don't care what anyone says. If I'm going out with two blokes and I like both blokes, there's going to be something about one of them that makes me think, oh, well, he's got the edge over the other. So I don't understand why he can't see who, he's, who he likes more, especially when he spent a lot of time with the first one, with Shauna, and he spent equivalent time with Eve. So now two guys are coming in. He's saying, oh, one minute I had two girls fighting over me, now I might not have any. <laughs> I've got to make my mind up quick. So now he's going to be pushed into making a decision. And he might make the wrong one because he doesn't know what he wants. The thing is with Love Island, you don't have time to mess around. You don't have time to make up your mind. You need to know what you want when you want it. You can't be thinking, oh, well, I'm going to think about this. Oh, well, you... He had the audacity to tell her, oh, hang around, just wait until I make up my mind. That's what he was more or less saying to Shauna. You know, I can't make up my mind. Um, yeah, just hang in there, just hang in there. What a bloody cheek. Now, two guys are coming in and two bloody gorgeous guys at that. And he's saying, oh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. You better stick with Eve, mate. Because if that was me, I wouldn't want him after him telling me that. Anyway, what else is there? Um, I don't think there is much else actually. Oh, I did. I did mention that you know that 
Leanne, she's very pretty without makeup. Sometimes when they show people without makeup on there, I mean, I know she's still got her eyelashes on, but she's very pretty. She is, she is nice. Um, yeah, I think, I think I've said it all, to be honest. I don't think there's anything else. Yeah. Love Island, she's young, Naz. Oh, Naz. <laughs> what a bloody palaver. Now, what we got, we got Naz. Naz and Shanice. Now, with them two, I can understand how he's confused. Because he, she said to him, I like you. We get on really well. I'm not sure if, she said, I'm not sure um, how she's going to feel down the road. She didn't cut him off straight away. She did say there's no spark now. But the implication was, is that once she gets to know him, there could be a spark developing. So he's not wrong to be confused. So for her to get all peed off by him saying she's giving mixed sig signals, I think she's got a bloody nerve because she was giving him mixed signals. Either you like the guy or not. I mean, now there's no more mixed signals because thank God, um, Jesse has gone over to him and said, look, the two of us can pair up because the two of us are looking for love and they know that they're going to get booted off. So whoever chooses, um, Naz can now choose Jess and Jess can choose Naz, depending on whose choice it is, knowing that they've just got each other's back. They're not interested in each other, but they've got each other's back. And I think Jess will be a nicer person to him than Shanice. So, um... Yeah, so I think it really is important for them to be kind of more upfront. But I think they all want their cake and eat it, don't they? They're all afraid that they might not meet someone or they're all afraid and then they want to be, they don't want to commit just in case somebody better comes in. So it's really hard, that Love Island. Can you imagine? You go on Love Island, you meet someone, you really get on and then you've only known them for a day somebody else comes out uh, in onto the island really 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 gorgeous they say oh they're going to take you out on a date they seem really really nice then they choose you you don't have a choice they choose you to couple up with what do you do do you stay coupled up with this gorgeous guy or do you say look don't pick me i've got this other one and then the other one could technically leave you for somebody else who's coming onto the island so it's really really hard you have to know who's in it for you and I think that is what um what's his name the one with the teeth oh is it Connor yeah I think it's Connor that's what Connor's worried about I think Connor is thinking look you know it's not serious he was prepared I think to just stick with her through it but she's not prepared to do that. You can see she's going to be gone. As soon as those guys come in, she's going to want one of them to pick her. I hope they don't pick her, but who knows? I hope one of them picks Shauna and gives um, Callum a run for his money. And that's all I've got to say about Love Island tonight. Bye.